All right, I feel like these two little have tripped up both front-end developers, back-end developers, full-stack developers, like pretty much everyone since they were introduced. But enough, enough. In today's video, we're breaking them down once and for all. So here are the differences between the rest parameter and the spread operator in JavaScript. All right, devs, what the hell are the rest parameter and the spread operator? Let's start with the rest parameter. All right, so the rest parameter is a catch-all for arguments and functions. And what that means is, let's say you need a utility function in your script, just a little function that does a little bit of math or something, like one that can take in some numbers, adds them all together, and then returns that value. I mean, that'd be a nice little function to have, but let's make it flexible. And let's say it can take in any amount of those numbers, AKA the arguments, could be two, could be dozens, could even be hundreds, and then returns that value. So what, what does that look like? Well, let's write it. All right, so let's write a function that can accept an indefinite amount of arguments as an array, then adds all of those arguments together, no matter how many there are, and then returns that value. We're gonna want our boy, the rest operator for this, so let's write some code. Okay, so let's just get a function skeleton going. We'll just call this guy sum, open this up, and right out the gate, we're gonna initialize a variable. We'll just call it total. And we'll initialize that guy at zero. So it's just gonna start at zero. We're starting with zero. Our sum function is gonna take in, we'll just call it numbers. And then we're gonna take numbers, type that down here, and we're gonna loop over whatever's passed in. So we'll do that with a for each. Open this up. And what do we wanna name this? Well, we've got numbers here, so we'll just call this number. And for each number, do something. What do we want it to do? Well, let's just grab our total and then tack onto it or add onto it the number, the number that's passed in. And then at the very bottom or the very end of our function, we're simply just gonna return the total. Now to make this flexible and able to take in any number of arguments that we throw at it, we're gonna need, of course, the rest parameter. So we can hit that right here. So this is now a catch all. It doesn't matter how many arguments we pass in when we call or invoke this function, the rest parameter is gonna be able to catch all of them, regardless of the amount that there are. So now let's run this code. Let's actually call our sum function. But before we do that, let's bring in our console and we'll call our sum function. We'll call it inside of a console.log so we can see it. We'll say sum, and then we'll start passing it arguments. Let's start with one, let's throw in a three, and there we go. So one and three are obviously adds up to four, so this is working, but let's keep going. You know, five, 155, 239, 10,000, and you can see it just dynamically adds up. Doesn't matter how many arguments we pass into it, it just dynamically adds everything up and basically is catching whatever we throw at it. So that is the rest parameter in action. It's a catch all and it will catch anything that you throw at it and our sum function will dynamically add those up on the fly. So that is the rest parameter. All right, the spread operator. The spread operator in a way is like the opposite of the rest parameter. Remember the rest parameter gathers or packs in all of the arguments that you throw at it while the spread operator actually unpacks all of those set values. The spread operator uh, basically allows an iterable, so something like an array or a string to be expanded in place wherever it is in the code. So the rest parameter gathers and packs things in and the spread operator unpacks those things. Let's look at some examples. Okay, now for the spread operator. Let's drop some data in here to work with. We got two arrays, one, two, three, and four, five, six. But let's say we wanna add array one to array two. Well, we can take array one and spread it out. So first off, let's bring in our console and let's get a console.log going just so we can see what we're working with and I'll drop array two in there. That's gonna log four, five, six to the console. We know that, but we can take array one, append that here at the beginning in the first index of this array, and then we can spread it out. And then you can see we get our full one, two, three, four, five, six. And we've now taken array one, combined it with array two, and simply just spread it out here at the beginning of the array. So that's how the spread operator works. It basically just unpacks things in place. Let's do another example though. Let's give ourselves a little more room here. Let's get another two dummy arrays down here for some data just to work with. And then we'll set a variable called, we'll call it combined array. Let's say you want to combine these two arrays and that's gonna equal a new array. And we wanna combine array one and two, right? Well, let's just spread them in place. So let's take array one and array two, and then we're gonna spread these out in place, and then let's log to combine array to the console, and let's see if that worked. So console.log, 
combined array and you see we get the same result. I'll bring this up and you can open these up and we have our two arrays spread out in place now after combining them with the spread operator. So the rest parameter catches things and packs them in while the spread operator unpacks set values in place. They kind of do the opposite of one another. And that's it. All right, devs, that about does it. By understanding these differences, you can effectively use both features in your JavaScript to handle dynamic arguments and manipulate arrays or objects uh, more efficiently. But devs, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this, definitely click event that like button. Feel free to leave a comment. And as always, if you want to support the channel, all you have to do is...